Hello everyone, let me take this opportunity to welcome you to this channel. Today we are starting a series of videos that we are going to embark on videos that will maybe carry out the practicals for the uh, CDAC courses, that is uh, level 5 and 6 uh, database. And in this case we are going to, you to use the access to do the database before we advance to advanced, that is the SQL uh, queries to do this kind of the databases. So with me, there are many ways that you can launch the database. That is the uh, Microsoft Access. You can go to the Start button here, and then you can look from the most used if the, data, the Microsoft Access appears here. If it doesn't appear here, you can click on Home Apps, and then you search uh, through the search pane here on the left side. So you can see mine is here. So you can click on it to launch it that way that is one way that you can launch it if you cannot use that you can go to the uh, search window here and then you can type uh, access or access access or just microsoft access uh, in full And here there is one that comes uh, that is pop up. So if it doesn't, uh, uh, if you cannot see it from here, maybe we can uh, click from the recent like that. Uh, that is one way, another way that you can use. Alternatively, you can <coughs> maybe create an empty file. Let us create an empty file. We are not going to use the pure uh, desktop. And then we can click a folder here. Maybe we can call it library. We can call it library. Or like boo, like that. And then you can double click on it, like that, to open it. And then inside here, you can also right click again and then create a file on Microsoft uh, access, uh, access Database. And then you can call it maybe library. You can call it library. Library like that and then you can click uh, enter and here there is another way then you can either double click to open it like this and then you can uh, start your database like that you can enable heading like that you can start your database alternatively you can right click to explore more options and then you click on open like this and here still you have your access opened that is another way or well, you just click like that and then you click the enter button like that and here we have the uh, access button so that is our our access with all those ways that you can open it we can uh, explore a bit of it so at the top here remember this is the title name that we had given and then here we had the quick access remember you can format this quick access maybe by uh, by maybe bringing it below and here it is I will just bring it at the top where where it was like that so that's another way that you can do for this and then remember here we have the title and here we have the ribbons with the backstage of the program here and then here we have maybe the standard toolbar and then and the menus <coughs> for this and then here now to begin with we need to create the tables we know that maybe the tables are the basic unit of the database used to store the data maybe for instance for me here I'm going to create uh, the table regarding the library maybe for example to create a table you just click on new like that uh, that is for the database uh, for the new database you click on uh, a new like that and then you click on the blank database and then from the blank database here you can give it a name and here maybe we can call it lib because we don't want to name it uh, like the way we have named the other one uh, rib and then from here you can choose uh, the location that you want to store maybe for example let us store in the folder that we had created 
<coughs> so we need to create on uh, to desktop like that then this is the folder that we had created earlier on and then here we can give the file name and the file name is the lib and then we can click okay like that and then we can click so you can see the directory is already indicated here with the root being the c and then we have the branch the leaves as the follows and then from there we can click uh, create and here we have now our our database name here with the rib and then from here we can be able to create various data tables maybe for instance i may create the first one you just click on uh, create and since the first one is already here we can just click or uh, right click on it then we click save and then from here we can call it uh, maybe book we can call it book so we can just call it book <coughs> like that and then we click enter and there you have it and then we can right click it and then click on the design view like that then we can give <coughs> the fields all the columns maybe for example we can have here the book name the book and then here we have uh, underscore uh, the name and then uh, sorry m and then we can give the data type here let's cement be a, a short text and then we can also have another field here which is the author of the book uh, maybe how the like that and then we can also limit it to be like that and then we can have the last one which is maybe the serial number which is the serial uh, maybe number like this and then we can give the data type here to be maybe number like that and then we can right click again here and then we can click on save and then we can right click and then look at it in a design view and here it is ready for us to enter the, uh, the data and here we can just close it like that and then we click on create again remember here we are just using the the create wizards or just the query wizards or the design wizards uh, later on we are going to advance with the sql so here you can just right click and then click on save and maybe the second database we can call it maybe the menu we can call it maybe the menu so we can just call it menu like that and then we can click enter like this and then here we can click on the design view also and then here we can give the data type remember this one with the key is the primary key meaning that you can it is unique to every record that we are going to have or every row that we are going to have so here we can have the book and the data type we can call it maybe we can put it to be a uh, number because we want to get it from the uh, the other book uh, the other table and then the other one you can have the user and also the other one we can make it to be number because we shall get it from the table that you're going to create and then the other one is the maybe we can have the first name we can have the first name the first name and then we can give the data type here to be the short text like that and then the, we can also have the last name the last name like that and then we can give the data type to be also the short and then we can also have the issue date here we can have the issue the issue then we can also have this one being the underscore date the date and then here we can give the data type to be either to be either uh, date and time like that and then we can click on save and then we can go to the data sheet view and there you can see we have our table ready to enter the data and then we can click on uh, the click on uh, maybe cross and then we can also create another uh, table so you can see a database can contain many tables that can store various data so you can click on it then you can right click and then we can save it and then we can give it the name user uh, user and then here we can uh, go to the design uh, design view 
and here you can give maybe the username here you can give it to be the user uh, maybe underscore name uh, name like that and then here we can give this one to be short text and then we can also save remember you can uh, have as many as you wish depending on the various uh, things that you have so remember here we can have the user being maybe here the user being admin being admin we can enter the data like that and then the second one we can have another user here being super admin the super admin so you can see how easy it is to enter the data and then we can have the general maybe uh, maybe the librarian Uh, we can have as many so we can just save it like that and then uh, we can close close it like that remember when you double click on it you'll have the data then you can go to these other data you can close this and then you can double click on that so remember we can have the book name maybe it is a, a database sorry maybe it is a data base and the hair then how that we can have Maurice and then serial number maybe we can give it to be number one and then we can go to the second row and they have the the record entered in that way you can also go to the other table this is the menu and then you can still have the data entered uh, so that is uh, how you can uh, remember you can save all those and then you can close maybe you can close off like that then remember also you can click on that and then you can maybe continue saving or do other things like printing and whatever here in the backstint so that is how that is just the introduction to this series of the database that you're going to start with the uh, level 5 and level 6 uh, database management systems and this is the basic before we advance to the SQL or the structured query languages that we are going to use it in a programming way to create these and databases and insert the data in those databases. So stick with me in this channel for more videos like this. And if you have uh, not subscribed, please remember to subscribe, like and comment to increase this family of running IT uh, skills thank you and see you in the next video